بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم مرزا علی پویا ڈائریکٹر پروڈکٹ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ ڈیزائن ایٹ ون ٹین پرائیویٹ لمیٹڈ آو کمپنی ایکٹیولی پارٹیسپیٹڈ آفٹر دا ٹو تھاؤزنڈ اینڈ فائیو ٹو میٹ دی چیلنجز آف ڈیزاسٹر ری ہیب ان دی ارتھ کویک ایٹ آزاد کشمیر اینڈ پختونخوا پروونس ون ٹین اسپیشلائزز ان ایگزیکیوٹنگ فاسٹ کاسٹ افیکٹیو ڈیوربل بلڈنگ سسٹمس ڈیزائن ٹو میٹ دی کسٹمر ریکوائرمنٹس فار ریزیڈینشیل کمرشیل and industrial applications. The system that we introduced in Pakistan and was acceptable to the government was a light steel frame system to be cladded with different type of cladding boards. The system combines light steel frame with latest cladding insulation technologies with the purview of international standards After constructing more than 50,000 square meters of covered area in the province of Pakhtunkhwa and in the state of Azad Kashmir in a combination of steel frame and boards, 110 once again is introducing a new dimension in the field of construction based on the premise that while each component has inherent limitations, using them together can yield an synergy in which the combined performance exceeds some of the parts. Combining the two materials provide both the skin and bones for a wall or a floor or a roof. The concrete resists shear, shear load and braces the steel framing while the steel stud carries most of the wind, traverse and vertical loads. The fusion of steel studs, precast concrete is termed thin shell or cementitious coated cold form steel stud wall panels more simply the hybrid system is often referred to as stud cast or pre framed pre cast concrete the light gauge steel frame structure is produced on a just in time basis as the project begins to roll the production of the components with the help of the cad cam technology applied to roll formers we get components pre punch pre marked sections and assemble to form walls wall panels and floor cassettes the cad cam operation ensures high quality dimensional accuracy in the system we also use hot roll sections that are designed and fabricated at our fabrication shop they deal with real life building complexities such as transfer structures required for non-stacking load paths or supporting cantilevers as balconies. Cellular lightweight concrete is the second main element that goes into making of this unit. Cellular concrete basically is cement slurry aerated with the help of foam that is generated with an additive. The additive basically in common terms is an expensive soap which creates multi million air bubbles into the cement slurry once it is mixed the flooring of our building is done with the help of c joists or lattice joists that are put at 600 centers and a decking is laid out over these joists it's screwed on with shear bolts and cnc concrete of 65 mm thickness is cast onto it there is a sequence of construction that we follow the system starts with a conventional rcc foundation designed to take all loads the light weight of the system makes the foundation more economical compared to the foundations designed for conventional structures while the site work is in progress at the workshop the lsf structure is manufactured and made ready for delivery to the site we again are overlapping the two operations to save time The structure is manufactured with CNC machines. They are pre-punched, pre-numbered to a very high precision. The structure is sent to the site. The frames are assembled and the frames are bolted onto the plinth beam with anchor steel anchor bolts. Expanded metal lath applied to the outer or the inner face of the frame structure as well as cross bracings. On completion of the structure 
we immediately apply all the utilities in the cavity that is there in the structure it's all your plumbing and all your electrical conduits are fixed on to the structure before the pouring of concrete the standards applied to this system are ASTM AISI ICC and for any further information you can always look us up through our website i hope i have been able to put this new system plain in simple words to you thank you very much